Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Scarlett with Scarlett's Little Crafty Corner. And today I have got a special unboxing for you. Um, now, underneath my hand is my address and everything. Um, but I just wanted y'all to see that this came from New Zealand. And it had to go through customs. So I have got a customs declaration sticker on here from new zealand post and i just thought that was so cool so anyway i know that was just something stupid but i've never got anything from somewhere like that and i just thought it was neat and by the way i will be keeping the sticker <laughs> but all right so um this is a very special like I said unboxing and I want to say thank you to Linda for sending this to me um let me I've got a lot of notes to read to y'all um about this company this lady um and like I said, it comes from New Zealand. Um, so, as you can see, this is the back of the box. But this is called Pixel Hobby. Alright, it's pixel art. But the name of her shop is called Pixel Hobby. And she is located in New Zealand. And her name is Linda. And... I just thought this was very neat. Um, it comes in this box. And these are different things that you can get. But the box itself is just very, very, very pretty. I mean, very pretty. Um, so, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Linda and her company. So, Linda sent this to me for review for y'all. Um... She started this company back in 2004, y'all. So, she's been doing this for a long time. Um, but she started selling it in 2005. Um, but before her husband, Tony, died, they would go to um, um, the markets and shows and... They had a ball doing that. And I'm going to assume that going to the market, it I think it she might mean like craft shows and stuff. Um, you know, because the language is a little different from the states to where they're at. So I think that's what that means is when she, she says she goes to the markets. I think that's it's crafts, craft shows. Um but, when Diamond Dots started, they did lose a lot of business and a lot of sales. Um, so, it's been pretty hard for Linda to manage. But, she has been trying to revamp her website. Which, I will leave a link to her website in my description box. Uh, so, y'all can go check out her store. Um... Well, you know what? This might be the back. And that's the front. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Sorry. Got distracted. Um, but yeah. I'll leave the link to her store in my description box. But, like I said, she is trying to revamp her website. And she's also going to try to start a Facebook uh, for the Pixel Hobby. And she is even thinking about starting a subscription box to where, like, like this box here. Um, I don't know what's in it or anything, but, you know, this, this might be a subscription box. So, and I'm going to apologize for my fur babies in the background. They have just started playing and they're hitting my desk and making the camera shake. Um, so, anyway... She, um, I 
Okay, hold on. Okay, so she's got the widest range of kits available worldwide. Um, and she's got like, it's there's over a thousand kits. Um, but Pixel Hobby, it's fun. It's relaxing. It makes a great gift. Either, you know, you can present the whole kit to somebody as a gift. Or you can get it and make it and present the finished product as a gift. Um... But the materials are made in the Netherlands. Um, so that they're, you know, they're good quality and everything. Um, but if you buy directly from Linda, you're going to skip the middleman. And you're going to get a better price. Plus, she has got a 20-day money-back guarantee. There's no minimum order. And she takes PayPal, Stripe, or you can just pay direct, you know, and it just goes into her bank account. Or she has even got a lay-by, which is like a layaway. And you just make payments until you have it paid off. And then, you know, she'll send it to you once it's, it's paid. But she has got, like, kits. They range from, it's one base plate to 40 and I think even more than that, you can get even, you know, bigger kits. And just like diamond painting, they're going to range in prices. So, you need to go check out her website and look and see what she has. And I love this box. And I don't want to tear it. So, I'm trying to figure out how do we open. Oh, there it is. Okay. So... Now, she did tell me that she was going to include this picture frame and a set of tweezers. But she said that does not come with your kit. You have to buy that separately. The picture frame and tweezers are sold separately. So, this is one base plate. And this is... Uh, let, me look, let me find my... Uh, okay. All right, y'all, I've got shed. I've got a jacket on. I just took the, the fur babies out, and I come back in, and I didn't even take my jacket off. But I was getting a little toasty. All right, so this is a 4 by 5 inch base plate, or 5 by 4 however you want to say it. So this... We'll just go in there like that. And, well, you know what? I'm sitting here. I'm trying to do something before it's even time to do. And I need to, to read the directions. Okay, so her kit comes with whichever kit you decide to get. It's going to come with directions. And she has got the assembly directions. Um, one through seven. All right. It says you need to locate your page one. And then it also comes with, just like with diamond painting, look at this. She has already marked your colors. And this is a beginner kit. So, like I said, I have no idea what she has sent me. Well, she sent me the little, the little seal. Is this a seal or an otter? I think it's a seal. Isn't that cute? So, let's see. So, this is base plate one. All right. Okay, this is just your parts paper okay so we're gonna set that off, off to the side so it says the page number is in the bottom right corner all right so we have our page one 
All right, it says start with the design rectangle in the upper position of the page, which is this one. It says carefully position the base plate over the rectangle. All right, so you would take, and this has got a flat surface. It's smooth, flat, and then on this side is your, um, your little... If you can see it, they look like little teeth. All right, I'm going to have to pause for just a second and get my fur babies. Okay, sorry about that. They are a mess tonight. All right, so you put your base plate, which is transparent. You can see right straight through it. You just put it right over the picture. Okay, so... Here's your directions, and I think, you know what, y'all, what I am going to do is I am going to pause, and I'm going to set this up, and I think I'm going to to do it real quick, or not, you know, I ain't going to be able to finish this, but I want to show y'all how to do this, so give me just one second, and I am going to sit down and get this and do like a little demonstration, so I'll be right back. Okay, um, I guess Linda forgot to put the tweezers in there, so um, I've got a set of tweezers from Diamond Art Club that I'm going to use, and hopefully I won't mess up, I won't mess this up. Okay, so it says to line this up perfectly to make sure that you line it up because I was looking at that it said make sure you line it up perfectly now she has sent the colors that I'm going to use and let's see I've got blue and I've got let me move that out of the way I've got light blue and then I have got whoop, another one of those that's a gray okay I've got the blue I've got a black more blue I've got white are those the same no those are a little off. Let's see. White. White. What? You know what? Duh. She sent me a darn chart. Okay. So, there's... Okay. So, if you look on the back, I don't know if you can see this or not. And I can't see if you can see, but it has a number right there in the center. It says 173. So 173 says I should have three of those, and I do. So all of these have got a number on, so there's 172, if you can see that. But they've all got a number on them. And... It tells right here what the number is and how many of them you're supposed to have. Oh, look, duh. If I had just looked at this, it says the base plate's four by five. And then you've got um, eight colors and 20 pixel squares, which are those. Okay. All right. And then up here at the top of the paper, it tells you, you know, Number 172, which was, yeah, it was that color, is going to be that solid square. So, all of these solid squares is going to be 172. All right. So, all of these little triangles, these open triangles, are 288. Now, that's for up here. So, that's 288. So, 
I'm going to look for, this is 404. Okay, so here is 288. So, I am going to just stick these in here. But, all right, get those lined up. And you know what? I think I'm going to start down here because that way I can see. No, I am. I'm going to start up at the top. The reason I'm kind of iffy is because I don't have my magnifying glass to where I can see it. So I'm going to need, what did I say, 288? Okay, so just making double sure. I'm just going to take a couple of these off. We'll do the four anyway. But, y'all, I really enjoy doing this. Okay, so that very first tooth up there. Oh, and I didn't even show y'all. Okay, so, I'm sorry. All of these little silicone squares have got a hoe in the bottom of them. If you can see that. They're solid on that side, but they have a hole. Stop, y'all. Ooh, these two are in rare form this afternoon. They were fine, y'all. They were actually asleep when I started doing my video. And it's like as soon, they're just like kids. As soon as they know that you're doing something, they're going to get up and try to get away with stuff. So, all right. So, all of these are like a rubbery plastic um i don't know i can't remember what it's it's made out of but anyway it's solid on one side and then it has a hole on the bottom and the hole is what's going to go right down on the tooth so i'm going to try to do this without my magnifying glass and after I get off the video, I'll probably end up having to fix it because I'm not going to be able to see correctly. So you just pick these up and you just place it down and then just push it down on there. And I hope y'all can see. I don't, I can't see if you can see or not. All right. Let me try this again. Oh, Lord, I got the chicken. All right, so, see, there's the second one. So, you just put the second one down and push it right down on there. Just like that. And then, once you get the hang of this, to me, the hardest part's these tweezers. And it's because I don't, I don't do the tweezers very well. Um, the only time I even use tweezers when I diamond paint is if I accidentally stick something in the wrong spot and then I, I take and I'll get my tweezers and pick it off or I use my tweezers to um, put the glue dots in my pen. So I'm not real good with I'm not real good with tweezers. So this is what takes me the longest. But some of y'all who who use the tweezers quite well, this should be a breeze. Alright, let me try this again. Okay. Y'all, I apologize about my my little fur babies. Really, y'all? Come on. I got one tugging at my sock. And I got one hitting my leg with the chicken wanting to play. And both of them are distracting the crap out of me. This is not a very good time for me. For me to be doing a... A demonstration in a video but I wanted to I just got this in the mail today and I wanted to uh, 
I wanted to show y'all how to do it because, like I said, this lady is sweet as she can be. And I really, really appreciate her sending this to me. All right, so you can see that I have four right there, and there's the four. So you just keep going everywhere that you see those little uh, sideways triangles. All right, so once you get that one done, then you're going to bring it down to your second one, and then you're going to finish it up with the rest of this, which you'll have a whole different set of numbers and colors so it i'm gonna do this and i think this is what i'm gonna work on today as soon as i get done with this video and once i finish this i'll do a completion video and let y'all see what this looked like and i'll tell you how long it took me to do it which like i said it's gonna take me longer because of the tweezers um, I'm not real sure what kind of tweezers you're supposed to use for this, but I think if I had a pair of the dull ended blunt tweezers, it would probably be a little easier. So, and I don't even have a pair of those. So, all right. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video other than listening to my, my little fur babies down there. Um, but Linda, thank you so much for sending this to me. And like I said, I will definitely put the description or her, um, um, I'm going to bring y'all back up, but I will put the, uh, website and there's her email if y'all have questions, but I will put everything in my description box so that y'all can go and look and, you know, check this out for yourself and maybe get y'all a, a kit. And like I said, she's got Lailway. So you can, you know, you can check that out and see, see how that is. But again, she has everything is, has a, a she's got a drop down box on her website and you just go check it out and um and yeah she's got uh she's got everything you need to know on her website um uh, but the picture frame tweezers that kind of stuff is separate you have to pay for that separate she just threw them in for me um so that i could show what they look like so all right y'all like i said i hope you enjoyed the video other than my dis me being distracted and dealing with my pups so all right y'all thank y'all for watching and make sure you do all the youtube things uh give me a like uh leave me a comment let me know what y'all thought and as soon as i get done with this i'll do another video and hopefully they will not be so wound up but until then y'all Thank y'all, and thank you, Linda, and I will see all of y'all later. Bye, y'all.